Hi, hi, hi. Welcome back to another episode of Art Talk. This time I have got a very, very special guest on the show. His name is Christopher Tepp and he is a very special person. He has invented this uh, product here. He will explain to you himself. And not only this, but many other things he has invented. He is a very, very inspiring person and I am so happy to bring him to you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you and welcome on the show. Thank you, David, for inviting me to come on the show. It's a pleasure yes. and I'm looking forward to, you know, discussing some of the experiences yes. that we had. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, and now the audience needs to know who you are and what you basically do. So if you can just uh, give uh, the audience a little uh, bit about yourself. Thank you, David. Uh, I will basically introduce myself. Uh, Christopher Tepp is my full name. I am an agriculturalist, uh, practicing agriculture for the last 35 years. Wow, and 35 years. 25 of these years uh, was as a public servant with the government of Papua New Guinea. Uh, and uh, the remaining uh, 10 years, uh, as a private consultant and a, uh, you know, startup uh, businessman. Wow, very, very good. So you have given more than like uh, 30 years, 25, 20 plus years uh, of your life to the service of this great nation, whether in the private sector or, or in the uh, public sector. But you are an agriculturalist uh, uh, by profession. Wow, very good. Okay, now, um, what are you actually doing now, now that you are out of like government um, employment, you are doing something of your own? Uh, thank you, David. Uh, I left the public service after 25 years, and during my uh, time as a public servant, I was employed by the Department of Agriculture and Livestock and this gave me the opportunity to move around uh, to different parts of PNG. Uh, in fact, uh, the four regions, I have worked in all the four regions, in the Islands region, in the New Guinea Islands region, the Momase region, and the Southern region, giving me a glimpse of this whole country into uh, putting it into perspective. So uh, I did spend uh, many years 25 years uh, in the agriculture sector, working in the four regions in PNG. Okay, okay. Very good. Uh, uh, this guy here actually traveled all over the country, and not only that, he even worked in our four regions. The Highlands region, the Mamaisa region, Southern region, and of course, New Guinea Island region. So, he is he has got great wealth of experience and uh, he knows about agriculture, particularly to do with this country. So now we will ask him the special product, what has actually, what has actually motivated him to invent this fertilizer, a homegrown, 100% PNC made, grow area fertilizer. So I will ask him what actually motivated him, where did he get the idea, and uh, how did you actually come up with this particular uh, product? Okay, sir, tell us how and uh, what actually motivated you to uh, come up with this uh, product, uh, Grow Area Petalizer. Uh, thank you so much, uh, David. Uh, this is actually a very good question. I started work in uh, 1989 wow. and uh, those years were the formative years and those we could say that those were the years uh, the, the, the last good years of this earth yes <laughs> by 2000 yes we reached a time when climate change was beginning to gain traction yes and people were talking about climate change by 2000 yes by 2010 climate change has become the talk. talk. That's right. And so 
I was employed in my first employment was in 1989. Yes. And after 20 years of being in the field, yes. I traveled all around PNG and I have noted yes. that the soils in many parts of PNG were declining except for some of those areas that uh, had recent uh, volcanic activity eruptions their yes. soils are very rich and young yes uh, those areas would be like areas of popondeta yes uh, gazelle yes uh, some areas in bougainville they had uh, um, before you continue so we have got a young soil and the old soil is that right is that what they're saying? That's right. Okay. Very, okay. Uh, very basically, uh, the soils uh, w we have eroded soils. Yes. Uh, basically, uh, the old soils. Okay. Which I'm referring to. The yes. younger soils are the ones that came to being after volcanic eruptions. Okay. I see. I see. And uh, these soils, I call them younger soils. Okay. Because they are material that is much younger yes. than the older material, yes. which may be derived from rocks, um, limestone, yes. and some other, you know, I see. material. That's okay. why I call them <laughs> anyway. <laughs> old and young. I see. I see. Anyway, you, you can continue. How you have actually come up with this uh, product? It's a very interesting uh, product, actually. During my during my work, I have uh, noted that in towards the late 1980s, yes, the soils were excellent. Wow. They were very good, and uh, you could just clear up a forest area. You plant, and you can be on this a particular soil, make garden on it for some time yes but after 30 years now this is no longer the case i see and after 20 years i noted that that was no longer the case and there was a need for us yes. to use other other materials to support farming in png okay and it was to do with uh, application of fertilizer yes. but then i also noted the the different kinds of fertilizer that were available yes. one was the chemical one and the other is organic organic oh, okay and when we refer to uh chemical yes they are made from either chemical reaction or they are extracted from rocks rocks oh, okay from nature yes and uh, they came in two forms yes uh one was solid based yes. And the other one was reacted with chemical. So, uh, chemical reaction, you can get uh, fertilizers, nitrogen fertilizers, you can get them. But from rock base, yes. you can get the solid fertilizers. Solid fertilizer. Okay. But then, with climate change coming up, yes. those solid fertilizers have now become a problem I see. to okay. our environment. Yes. From leaching nutrients, into okay. the water system okay uh from erosion that takes it down through the valley into yes. the river system yes and so i realized that we had to have something yes that is organic yes that is readily available in png yes that can be picked up by the farmers yes. and also at a very cheaper cost I see. so that affordability comes in the farmers can easily afford to buy the product yes and so that drove me to the idea to start a fertilizer business yes. in 2008 Eight. 2008 you started this uh, business that's right like, okay we put the idea together yes. we put the concept together and then from uh, 2008 all the way to 2017 yes. where the period where we had to do a lot of literature sets yes background reading yes put in a business plan yes what may work what may not, not work, work what will yes. work I what see. will not work <laughs> and by right. 2017 yes we actually put up the first uh, research processing facility together then okay. that's when we made the first grow area fertilizer, fertilizer. so you um, uh, the first uh, product after years of research after years of putting ideas together 
the, the first product came out in 2017. Right? 2017. So, Grow RF uh, and, uh, product, the fertilizer, um, is, is almost um, more than five years old now, right? Yes. Okay. From 2016 to 2023, yes, will be uh, more than five years. Five years. Okay. And uh, we started in uh, 2017. By November 2019, yes, uh, we brought it to the market. Okay. So, so this product was released to the market uh, for general consumption or application uh, in 2019, right? November 2019. November 2019. Okay. Um, friends, this is the product, PNG Mate. It's a... Uh, this is a... Uh, very good product. If you are a farmer out there, look out for, for Grow RF. This is PNG made, tailor made for our PNG conditions, PNG, PNG soil, and of course, PNG products. Okay, so uh, tell us, there are other fertilizer products on the market right now. Yes. So what makes you think that this is better than the others? This is, uh, this is like good for PNG condition than others that are on the market. Thank you so much. There are two very important reasons that uh, make Broaria organic liquid fertilizer uh, a fertilizer that everyone should go for. Number one is that uh, Broaria is 100% organic. 100% organic? Yes, okay. There is no chemical in it. Okay. It's derived from uh, organic material yes and so it's 100 percent organic so when you say 100 percent organic it is safe it is safe and it is uh, sort of in harmony with nature exactly exactly okay thank you thank you uh, we the testing of groware fertilizer was done in australia uh, as recent as uh, o october 2022 and uh, it was okay. tested in Australia. All the nutrients that it contains were tested, yes. and their levels are below the extreme levels and above average levels. So you are sure to get good growth of your garden plants. Garden plants. Okay. So actually, this was uh, tested in Australia, yes. and then certified for use. And uh, what so it's, it's basic, I mean, not basically, but it is safe for use in this nation, right? It is now safe to use our product in PNG and it can also be exported to other countries who are very conscious of uh, the high chemical content, especially from uh, uh, solid fertilizers, other forms of fertilizers which are inorganic. Secondly, our product is outstanding among the fertilizers is that in our product uh, the chemical fertilizers they may have one or two or three nutrients in one bag of solid fertilizer or they may have five sometimes they may have other additives that makes it to six different types of nutrients but in our product it contains all the 16 nutrients that are re recommended by United States Department of Agriculture. Wow, so this product here contains uh, all the 16 nutrients required by the plants to grow. Oh, wow. Optimal growth. Optimal to, growth, okay. To reach an optimal growth, yes. the plants will require the full 16 nutrients.